several of you good people out there have brought several times to my attention by mail and by comment the newly founded US Space Delta 18. But I thought I had already made some videos about that 10 years ago, which is this video here with a lot of pyramids amidst the US rockets of the US space program here on my channel Gatsafrat seven years ago. So here's my other channel. You can find it here in the um, in the bar here. Here it says video, it's all in French. And here it says channels, where I got my other channels. And you see here, that was seven years ago, the title is Satellite Drone Imagery All Seeing Eye in the Sky and Rock and Laura Bush from Grafenried Swiss Nobility. The video is worth watching. So here you see the pyramids with the US rockets and their space program. This is official. Oh. Also, the logo on this old video of mine from six years ago is very interesting. It says Knights Templar Fleet and it has the same symbol in the middle as the Space Delta 18 logo. Of course, this is not an ancient Templar picture which you see here, but as the Knights Templars never really disappeared um it might it, it's definitely been done by by the same ones and i'll try to put the links in the description if i won't forget on my channel here you can see the same symbol as on the um, the space delta thing here and the title is switzerland owned african slave trade slavery ships of swiss navy so here it says Space Delta 18. And why number 18? For I do not really assume our Pharaonic masters have another 17 Space Deltas. The number 18 consists of three times six. And uh, 1 plus 8 is 9 for the 9 original Knights Templars. So here you can see them. Hugues de Payen, Godefroy de Saint-Omer, where the, the word Omerta is from. André de Montbard, Hugues 1 or Hugh, Geoffroy Bizol, Archambault de Saint-Amand. Bayan de Montdidier, Rossal, Godmar or Gondamer or Gondemar. They're all aristocrats. You see, you know this uh, this de everywhere here. De Montbar, de Saint Omer, de Payen. It means like the Germans von. Uh, it means from. They're all aristocrats. Yeah, like von Stauffenberg or Werner von Braun, all aristocrats. You know, they never have any problems. You know, like doing paperclip things and all that. But there are also the nine original gods of Egypt, the sun god Atum. His children, Shu and Tefnut, their children, Geb and Nut, and their children, Osiris, Isis, Set and Nephthys, all together called the Great Aeneid. It says the Great Aeneid, 
you see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine original gods of Egypt. And here we can read about the great Aeneid. And they were the nine original gods of Egypt. They were living in Heliopolis. Polis, it means a town. That's where the word police is coming from. You know, they're the town sheriffs. And Helios, it's from the Greek sun. So Heliopolis, it means sun city. And we can see it was a major city of ancient Egypt. So here we can see Heliopolis. Heliopolis was in the Pertasser, Lower Egypt, where now Cairo is. Now you can read about Heliopolis if you want. So the the name is like Greek, probably by the uh, the Ptolemy. And here's the great Aeneid. There they are. Atum, Shu, Tefnut, Geb, Nut, Osiris, Isis, Set, Nephthys. Oh, they even added Horus here. Why did they do that? Hmm. Okay. So, Heliopolis, Sun City. And where is this rocket going? The uh, Space Delta 18. Well, it's going to the sun, isn't it? It all relates. And what do we see in their logo? We see Pharaoh. And then there's the octagon star over his head. So, and the nine Templars, I mean, they come out of the aristocracy and the nobility. They come out of Pharaoh. Also, nine original Templars. The nine Aeneid, Pharaonic gods. And now we got 18, space delta number 18. One plus eight is nine. The rocket going to Sun City. The Heliopolis rockets of America. And what do we see on the space delta logo? Yes. Pharaoh ruling over the earth, which they do, in fact. Pharaoh rules the world, which they even depict in their logo. And now sending a rocket to Heliopolis, where the sun is, and the, the great Aeneid, space, delta, one plus eight, is nine and why always delta why these creeps always delta us around i'm tired of getting delta around and here you see the delta here becomes a pyramid see and here on top of it here is a square for the square and compass in white. Of course, it's red and white, Swiss colors and Knights Templars colors. And on top here, it's the same symbol as the Space Delta 18. See? Yes, it's part of a pyramid. See? It just depends how you look upon it. You know? Well, apparently, they look upon it from the downside. Where the slaves are or where you're just standing right? but it is definitely the same symbol well oh, this can't be a coincidence so stop delting us around the new delta variant of pharaoh's bug war the u.s delta force and their blood ritual pinning for this soldier brotherhood killing for the elite. And look here, they got the pyramid badge here. 
with a light lightning striking in the middle. In German, lightning is called Blitz, like in the Blitzkrieg, yeah? It means a lightning war. And it's also the SS symbol in the middle here. Because it's all a um, consequence of the uh, Operation uh, Paperclip, when all the Nazis, they came in the US. And this is the result. You see here the Blitzkrieg, the Nazi, the SS symbol. You know, if you look at the sides, you know, one here, and one here, it really says SS. If you only look at the white part and not at the red part. So you got Pharaoh's Pyramid with the SS symbol in it and the Blitzkrieg. And they do a blood ritual. Uh, killing, you know, uh, defenseless like Afghanis and their children, you know, in the third world. Shame on you. So, as soon as the US drugs armies, Delta Force and Navy SEALs had left, the Taliban could finally ban the opium trade again, just as they did in 1998, thus being the main reason for the US NATO invasion of 2001 in Afghanistan under the pretext of their towering inferno false flag attack. So on purpose, I show you this on an American state YouTube channel called Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty. Here they are. And uh, the title is Mar Marijuana and Opium Crops Destroyed After Afghan Taliban Leaders Edict. And of course, you know, they, they, they tell the truth, you know, because if I would have shown you some Afghan channel, many of you wouldn't have believed it. So therefore, I show a American state YouTube channel called Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty also very much uh, implicated in the Ukraine war. And of course, you know, they start with telling the truth here and showing the pictures, how the Afghani, how they destroy the opium fields. But then they have to put some grains of disinformation in our heads, like, you know, like put a little bit of poison in our heads, you know, to make us doubt the whole story. But these are real Muslims who don't even wish their enemies' children to be addicted on these satanic drugs. This is how the Taliban are. That's just how they are, you know. So I would say, you know, Get rid of the US police and import a lot of Talibans and give them a US police uniform and you get the um, you get all the, the, the drugs off your streets in 24 hours. I can guarantee you that. We get also delta by the Kappa Delta for female Freemasons, also called a sorority which etymologically derives from the French word sœur, meaning sister, as in Sisters of Isis, or Sœur d'Isis, for Suisse, Suisse, the original French Templar name for Switzerland. And look at their charming logo. Here's the logo. Yeah, look at that. Look, you got the, uh, the, the, the skull and bones of the Freemasons here. You got the pyramid, the dagger. I mean, talking about femme fatale, eh? the fatal sisters. The concept of three, standing for the compass. You got the Christian cross, surrounded by four, six, 
nine, twelve. I don't know what. So the, the Christians are surrounded, I'd say. You got Aladdin's lamp, you know, getting the demons out, so to speak. And um, of course, a snake. Yeah. Definitely the sorority of the the fatal sisters and uh, this the femme fatale and here look well, you can oh yeah there were and the uh, so so a sorority is a female brotherhood a female fraternity and this one here was founded by four sisters for the concept of four and three stars in their logo. Here you got the four femme fatale here. Maybe you recognize some of their names here. Blackiston, Hendrick, Wilson, White. And um, for the concept of four, the concept of three is here. That's where they come from, the, uh, our masters. And, um, here you got the president, Stockton, the vice president, Feinstein. Well, you probably heard that name before, huh? One of the Steinsies, the, uh, the pharaonic uh, jaywalker nobility. Not all jaywalkers are pharaonic nobility. And uh, so they are the Steinsies, the, the first ones who built in stone around the year 1000 in Europe. Whereas the European slaves they were just living in dirt huts, like in Africa. And um, so here you can see once more their logo. Well, you all have fun with it. The Pharaoh girlies of the Kappa Delta love the Delta because Delta is the fourth letter in the Greek alphabet with the value four. But yet the picture shows a triangle for the concept of three and side of their beloved pyramid and integrated hierarchy. So Delta says square and compass, square and compass one single letter that says it all well now you all know finally sorry it took so long but i have a lot of things on my mind i'd say put them all in their space delta 18 rockets let them take all their deltas with them and off you go and we take our planet back this one here is the governess of new york kathy hotchell with a lovely pharaonic logo of the seal of new york underneath showing the egyptian goddess ma'at to the right Another girly to the left with a French revolutionary cap, as in Statue of Liberty, given by France and planted in New York, with the sun for Amun Ra and a genuine Nazi eagle on top of it all, which will surely be a joyful sight for the jaywalkers in Brooklyn, New York. Well, you just don't get that high up without joining a sorority or a sisterhood like Kappa Delta. So here you see Amun Ra, the sun. This is Ma'at, an Egyptian goddess. Here she got the hat here of the French Revolution, the red hat. And this is a genuine Nazi eagle, exactly the same. This is the, this is the consequence of Operation Paperclip. 
the Nazis have taken over America and also Russia through Mr. Putin. Well, there she is, Kathy Hochul, the lady who's showing herself with a Nazi eagle so everyone can see it. And the former, they got rid, probably the sisters, you know, of the sorority, they got rid of the former governor uh, because of allegations of sexual harassment. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure he did, yeah, of course he did. And um, here, she su successfully lobbied the university to divest from apartheid South Africa. So she helped, you know, like giving South Africa to the Zulus. And one of the reasons I can't go back, back home. And uh, well, there's a lot more to read. I didn't even read it. And she's in the Committee of the Armed Services here. She is in the Committee on Homeland Security, Homeland Security, Counterterrorism and Intelligence, Subcommittee um, uh, on Emergency Preparedness, Response and Communications. Well, you know why these uh, the sorority, they have a dagger in their logo. Now we know, eh? So this is the seal of New York, the one with the Nazi eagle, which used to look like this here. You know, different. But anyway, here's the sun. This is Ma'at with the scales and the, and the sword. This is the, the, the cap of the French Revolution. They call it the Phrygian cap here. And here's the Nazi eagle. But it, it, they changed it, you know. This is what it used to look like, or this here. Or this here, very different from today. You know, because the Nazis are back, you know, and they're getting bolder and bolder, you know, again. So, so this is what it used to look like, the seal of New York. Well, it still was occult, completely occult, but now it's Nazi again. And this is what the seal of New York looks like today with a Nazi eagle and um, the sorority standing over it. The Sisters of Isis, yeah, Ma'at, Amun Ra, the Sisters of Isis. So here it is, it's a close up picture, a Nazi eagle. Operation Paperclip, Ukraine war, Russia, Putin, Switzerland. They were never defeated. Germany, the Germans lost the war, but the Nazis won the war. So here you can see the Nazi eagle with a swastika underneath and exactly the same as on the seal of New York on the, under that female of the sorority it's a nazi train eagle eagles like this one were mounted mounted on train engines the presence of the eagle indicated property of the third reich and helped foster a sense of national pride well new yorkers now you can feel your national pride with the seal of new york a fun y'all. Now, I want you to have a close look at the form of the Space Delta 18 logo. You can see Pharaoh ruling over the Earth. And there's the Swiss octagon hanging over his head as the invisible Swiss on all key positions with their octagon. And this triangle with four sides for the concept of three and four. Now, would you call me a liar when I told you 
that America's actual so-called biggest enemy used the very same logo for their space agency equivalent of Space Delta 18. Look to the right. This is the Russian Roscosmos. No, silly, it doesn't say Pokokmok, sort of Rusky variety of cocksock by the local female Moscovite population. No, it says Roscosmos. So here it says here, Roscosmos. And look, this logo here is the very same as this thing here. So how, how can they be enemies? You know, they're the same ones ruling over all countries. And here's Pharaoh ruling over the world. And here's the invisible Swiss octagon above of that. You know, with the on all key positions. And this is supposed to be Delta. Well, Delta has the, the valor of four, the value of four. Normally it's going like this. So it has three angles and it is the concept of three. But actually this one, because it's going like inwards, it has the concept of four as well. And it already says Delta for three. And here, one, two, three, four sides for the concept of four. So it does say square and compass all over. And the Ruskies, the Pokokmok, no, I'm not going to say the other one again. They have the same symbol here. Well, how is that possible? How the hell is this possible? So it says, in fact, the P is an R. And the C here is an S. It says Ros, Cos, Mos. It's quite easy. There's just a few letters that are different, you know. And so the Cyrillic Russian C gets pronounced as an S. So it says Ros, Cos, Mos. And they have the very same symbol as the US Space Delta 18. And this means that the Russian leaders are the same as the US leaders, all using the same symbols of the pharaonic ancestors of Egypt's worldwide nobility ruling over the human race, who just want humanity's tribes to fight each other and transform entire nations into one big slaughterhouse. Mr. Putin is very good friends with President Zelensky and friends with President Biden and friends with President Macron. Just look at the symbols, look at the bloodlines and look at Switzerland, folks. Here, I prove it to you once more, and this is what I did. I wrote this mail to the Ukrainian embassy in Paris, offering them my help. But they're not even interested, and just sent me back their standard mail, without any answer at all because they want to destroy the Ukrainian people and the Russian people. As I've already explained to you, right after Putin's invasion started, in this video here, well, it's underneath the letter, which you can now see here in a eight hour assembled documentary. So here is that video. Here, uh, I don't know, yeah, you can see the title, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil, Part 7, Switzerland, 
sleeper agent. And this is here, the Swiss Beast part one, and this is the French version. So this one lasts now eight hours. The Swiss Beast number seven. And I wrote them on August the 16th, 2022. You can see that here. A quarter to three. So there, it's nine days ago. Intel on Putin and humanitarian aid to Ukraine. To the consul. And I also wrote, wrote one to the other one. There. This is a, um, a public email. So don't worry. Um, Fuck tube, don't take my video away. It's a it's a uh, it's a public email, right? I'm not um, disclosing any secrets here, yeah. So and this is my email, Swiss Torture at Gmail dot com. So I wrote them here in English and here in French. So I just read it for you. Hi, I'm ex Rhodesian SAS, and I'd like to help out. Me and a friend of mine want to drive a truckload full of food and medicals into the Ukraine. In Strasbourg, I'm in contact with Sergei, a Ukrainian surgeon, with French doctors and with humanitarian organization. Only as a South African, I don't have a country anymore. A South Africa belongs to the Zulus now. So I'm here now, eh? And they, want, they don't want to issue me a passport. So I need you to issue me a Ukrainian passport if you're interested in our help. Otherwise, I just can't get there, traveling from Strasbourg, France. I fought against the Ruskies twice, once with the SADF, the South African Defense Force, in Angola and Kabinda in 1981, and once in Afghanistan in 1985. At the moment, I have expired Swiss documents for Schengen states only. As after my time in the SAS, I also attended other sorts of duties, which led to the following intel about President Putin. So in the videos here, which are just, which are underneath, who is part of an ancient international medieval military order, of which the proofs are in these three vid YouTube videos here. President Putin gets his orders out of Switzerland, where his order is based. Yours truly, Sean Ross from South Africa and ex Rhodesian SAS. Well, here's in French. Salut, je suis ex SAS de Rhodesie. Well, I'm not going to bother you with that one, eh? And um, so, again, this is the video I talked about. It's eight hours. To the left, it says the Swiss beast. You can't see the whole thing. And the rest, yeah, you can see it's on my channel, Homeland Security. Okay, I'm going to show you their answer, which is a total contradiction with what they are showing to us, you know, what they're presenting to the world. But of course, I knew it. So here's their answer. You see, Intel puts in humanitarian aid to Ukraine. That was. Um, what I wrote. This is uh, their email. There's nothing, I'm not dis disclosing any secret information either. It's public information. It says, uh, Add Ukraine, help on Ukraine. But at the same time, it said, Adieu almost, Adieu Ukraine. So bye bye Ukraine. If you put the, uh, well, if you the I should be then here. You could make adieu out of it, you know, and sort of optically, immediately I see adieu, you know, I don't see ad a. Ah. So it was two, so two days later, I got this back, August the 18th. So that's seven days ago. Well, they send it midnight. How come, you know, why midnight? And they say, oh, it's a standard letter here. This is the, the embassy of the Ukraine in France, yeah, uh, Avenue de Saxe, Paris. It's the, um, the Committee of the Coordination to the Help to the Ukraine. Well, I mean, I'm offering my help by even risking my life there, you know, and just get a standard letter back with all these things, you know, to um, all these links to click. I'm not going to click any links, you know. 
I mean, I'm help. I'm offering my help. So I, I would expect like, yeah, okay, right. You know, what are we going to do? Okay, let's get together. You know, like nothing of the kind. It's like, you know, it's like I want $1,000 of them, you know, or something. I want something of them, you know, and they don't even answer me about the passport or about nothing. There's nothing. So I wrote them a, a letter back that I don't click on links, and if they could please, uh, you know, give me a normal answer. So this is their icon. There's nothing on it. Maybe it's, um, it's showing Zelensky uh, cross-dressing or something, which he did. I guess you all saw the pictures, the video. I'm, I'm not going to show it here on my channel because they can do it, and I get my channel taken off. And the same pink list killers, you know, um, slamming the button, you know, he's doing it. Like it's their, but it's their thing after all, you know, but this is how it works, yeah. So they're not interested, people. It's all, uh, it's all cinema. The president is a cinema, or well, the other one too, Putin, all the presidents, uh, like, you know, like get, get together and help Ukraine. It, it's all, it's a lie. It's just a lie, you know. So I show you what they wrote me back. It's just, and then I they they, and then they send me this back again, and then I I, I send them another one, and then I never got any answers anymore. You know, I guess they got the picture. You know, they um that they uh, that that they got a guy here letters, a guy who understands it. You know, they got their pants pulled down like Mr. Zelensky. So after that, I sent them this back in French because they answered me in French. And I said, well, apparently there's interest, in interest, interest. I said, well, apparently there's not much interest. You know, you're not really interested. And here, click. I said, I don't click on your, on your links. So, I mean, they could have easily sent me these things, you know, the links in a different way. So I can just copy them, copy paste them, you know, uh, or in, a, in some other, other way. No, instead of that, they just send me the same bureaucratic standard letter. You know, and, and, you know there's a lot of guys, you know, risking their lives for, for this, you know. So, and then, you know, then, then they send me this back, you know, this with this, the same answer, exactly the same thing, you know, just standard letters, stick, you know, you can, they don't even have to answer, you know, they can do it in five seconds, you know. So it's the same, you know, with the French, you know, Americans and the Allied English risking their necks for the French, you know, the Allied and the Allied landings on June the 6th. I showed you that they're not really thankful. They're not thankful at all. It's all, you know, cinema, you know, for the TV or the newspapers. The Russians are not very thankful either, you know. 3,000 American sailors, they, they, they gave their life, you know, to send the convoys to, Amer to Russia from America. And I don't know, billions of tons were sent, you know. Russia could only win the patriotic war, the great patriotic war, because America helped them, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And now they just... They just spit back on you. They spit back on America. They spit back on England. They really hate us. I mean, why Why did we help them? And I tell you, with the Ukrainians, it's going to be the same thing. Why are you risking your neck for them? They're not going to be thankful people. They're only going to spit on you, just like all of them. Don't do their wars for them, you know. It's, it's, it's don't do it. We must fight the enemy within. So here, the, again, Ros Cosmos. And here's their logo. Uh, it says Pokokomok. No, not the other word again. No, I'm not going to say that again. Eh? And um, well, it goes on here. Here's, you see their logo again. The same symbol as the US Delta Space Delta. And this is the old one. So here's the website. I managed yesterday to get in, and today I just couldn't get in anymore, which is kind of weird. 
So now it's turning. I have to wait a little bit. No, I don't think it's working. It is not working. I'm sorry. Oh, here on Wikipedia, Space Delta 18. Here's their logo. One more time here. And look at the heads of these guys. I mean, they don't look very human. They, they probably... Well, I mean, if it was, if it were a science fiction film, I'd say that they, they're breeded with uh, aliens. I'm not saying that. Hey, I can't say that. But if it were a science fiction film, I mean, it looks like they're breathed with them. There's something else. Look at their faces. And here, the all-seeing eye here with the blitz, the blitz creek. Here's the concept of four. This one is the concept of three, the circle. And it's the whole thing is an oval. Oh, everything is there. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's, a, uh, it's a chess game. It's all a chess game to them. It's the, uh, it's a knight of the chess. Oh, really? And they're all, they have a lot, you know. One eye, this eye is looking this way and this, this is looking the other way, you know. I noticed that a lot. Look, he's got this uh, the symbol on his chest. If he goes to Russia, he can just pass, you know, for a Russian officer like that. And um, well, you can read it yourself. Space Force Intelligence Activity. See, you know. The National Air and Space Intelligence Center. Yeah. Oh, well, Sphinx. Oh, okay. Done. We get that. And an octagon. And to the right on top, there's the symbol again. The Missile and Space Intelligence Center. Space Delta 7. <laughs> How many stars? Seven. Okay. Oh, and there's one on top. Seven for the concept of three and four together. Oh, it even says seven here. Look at that. Yeah. And there's a bear. Well, the Russian bear. If you go with the lo this logo with an American uniform to Moscow, you can just get into the um, to the head shed there, you know, to the headquarters. I mean, the symbol is the same, uh, the Russian bear on it. And there is the octagon. The Ruskies probably use the same. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, they do. I already showed that to you. People. Our leaders, they are the same. They have the same logos in Russia as in America. The people shouldn't fight each other. We don't have any problems with each other. Stop it. Look, there are seven heads here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven heads of state. And all governments of the world are friends with each other who just want the slaves battle each other in a big arena just as the pharaonic elite of rome already did in the Colosseum. look there it is the symbol again on the uh, space 18666 uh, concept of three and four Delta thing. Here, yeah, look, there it is. Exactly here. And here, the other, the other way around, here it is. This is a pentacle, and this is a pentagram. Yeah, duck. Same symbol. There it is. It's in a pyramid. If you look at from downwards, as I've shown you in the Delta Airlines. But it's also this here. Look, and they even put a child in the Rock Pock Mock Space Delta 18 logo. Just think this part away and this also away. I mean, here already is nothing. So it is really accentuated this here. Tuck, tuck, tuck. You all see it, eh? Uh, this 
space delta, kappa delta. This girl is also being deltaed by them. And here it is again, the space delta 18, which is here. You remember the girl standing here, exactly here, where Pharaoh has his head here. She was exactly standing here. And here, the, the I think I just call it pok, pok kok mok from now on. Same thing. The, we're getting pok kok mocked and we're getting deltaed and it's uh, it's all over. Just don't forget the girl standing here. Eh? Look, Ivan Roscosmos, the Russian Space Agency, and the NASA logo, they are the same. There is a circle, like an oval, for the Oval Office, here as well. So Americans and Russians, again, the same. And then they've got this red thing here. And here too, sort of a red thing. Because they're all the same pharaohs, people. And here you got the United States Space Force, Department of the Air Force. Here it says 2019. So this one here is younger than this. This is Star Wars, Starfleet Command. But the symbols are the same. The you know, they all, and they all got this circle here, or this, this oval. It stops here. Here as well, it stops here. So it seems that this is younger, and this is the same one as the... Uh, as the, uh, the the Delta thing. Uh, apparently they got everything from Star Wars, you know. But I mean, Hollywood, they are the same masters, they are the same pharaohs, you know. So it's all older. And you've got all these stars here, you know, here. And here a big one, same as here, all these little stars and here a big one. And this one here. United Federation of the Planet, like the Swiss Federation, eh? A Swiss A. So the captain here, he says this here, because he saw the United States Space Force with the same logo. And this one here, oh, I know, mate. They nicked us from us here. <laughs> well, they're all the same, you know. Hollywood is the same as uh, the army, the politicians. They're all, it's all by the same masters, eh? I'll let you look in it, at it in silence. Silence is over. Look, there it is again, the same symbol. And this is why Pharaoh's nobility is using the very same Space Delta Roscosmos logo which I filmed here by some Dutch Prince Morris of the Royal House of Orange. And you can find it on a lot of business logos as well. And as we can see, the very powerful House of Orange and its Prince Morris, even using the symbol of both the Russian and American Space Agency. It is therefore no wonder that in the very same land of that House of Orange they founded in 2006 a European militarized police to knock down the slaves in crisis times which they just call a European police force with military status for crisis management using political vocabulary to make it look harmless. And in fact, in France, during the Yellow Vests demonstrations, many have heard the police talking other languages than French, while shooting out the eyes of young French protesters, 
well, maybe the language they heard was maybe Lithuanian, like here, maybe Romanian, or maybe Turkish. Is Turkey part of Europe? And look how many there are. One, France, Italy, two, Netherlands, three, Poland, four, Portugal, five, Romania, six, Spain, seven, Lithuania, eight, Turkey, nine. There are nine original uh, Euro Gen 4. And um, just like the nine original Templars. And where, why were the nine original Templars? Because there are nine original Egyptian gods, the great Enyad. The name of this crisis management police is Euro Gen 4, short for. European Gendarmerie Force. And the French word gendarme means Jean de Arme, meaning people with guns. This will be Pharaoh's police force, created by the House of Orange, who also founded the Bilderberger that will be used to force you and your children to take Pharaoh's poison related to Pharaoh's bug war. And I'll read for you here, here, the European Gendarmerie Force. The European Gendarmerie Force, or Eurogent 4, is an operational, pre-organized and rapidly deployable intervention force exclusively comprising elements of several European police forces with military status of the parties in order to perform all police tasks within the scope of crisis management operations, as established by Article 1 of the Treaty Establishing the European Gendarmerie Force. So here's their logo. Lex Pacifarat. Lex is the law, and Pacifarat it means making peace or making making things quiet, you know. And uh, so I uh, here is that treaty. They talk Article One of the treaty. Oh, look here. The its status is enshrined in the Treaty of Velzen, which is a a town in the uh, the land of the House of Orange in October 2007. And uh, so it's active from 2006 until present. And here, at that time, there were still seven states. Now there are, there are nine, as you just saw. The implementation agreement was finally signed by defense ministers of five participating countries on September 17th, 2004 in the Nordvik. I hope I pronounced it right, in the Netherlands. Oh, that's where they're from. And, uh, well, I guess there's a lot more to see. These are the, the generals or the colonels of it. They're probably all aristocrats. And here are the seven countries. And here it says, look, the observers are Turkish and the partners are Lithuanian. who are already in it now. I also have a maritime force and, wow, well, great fun, eh? Was it necessary? We already have enough of these, don't we now? These are the participating countries. Turkey is in it as well, Lithuania. And here uh, is their website. Let's see if it gets out. Oh, there it is. Uh, are they the victims? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Well, all right. 
And how do they translate it from Latin? Lex pacifrat, the law will bring peace. No, 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 no. no it's the law. No, no. I, I, I know some Latin. It means the law, the law of silence, silencing you up. That's what it means. Peace is also like silencing, silencing you up. You know, like putting whistleblowers like Julian Assange, like, you know, forever in prisons in Europe. That's what it means. Well, you know, it means shut up or we knock the wind out of you. Did they really have to call it like this with a D for gender in it? Because it actually sounds much better without needing to force that D in the middle of it all. Eurogen4 with the D or Eurogen4 without the D? Well, we all know they have a reason for this. Coming out of the pinkless killer Knights Templars. There are nine original knights, and there are nine actual Eurogender for states, with even part of Asia in it. I mean, Europe stops here at the Bosporus and Constantinople here. This is Asia, it's not Europe. And when these guys came into Europe, they call them guest workers in the 60s, you know, like fooling us, saying they're guests. And now they're going to police you and knock the wind of you out of your windpipes if you don't obey. And uh, I must say, I have nothing against Turks. I met some really nice Turks. And, um, but I don't like the idea of being lied to by Pharaoh and all that. Look at what's written here. Look at it carefully. And also in Russia, the people get beaten up by Pharaoh's blue army with pink list killer written backwards on their uniforms because all these worldwide uniformed thugs come out of the Knights Templars, about whom the French king said that they were all sodomites needing to be burnt. Or do you really think that Russia's pharaohs are so stupid writing pink list killer backwards in a country where pink list killers get hunted down by the slaves. Huh? These are the new Templars in all senses of the word. And here you can see the Masonic logo of the Russian Sberbank, which is probably Ruski's biggest bank and it has three white and three green squares in their logo for the concept of three and four saying square and compass so here this it's a square a part of a square well there's a square it's 90 degrees so this is the square the concept of four and there are three of them, each one, two, three green, and one, two, three white, for the concept of three, for the compass. So it says square and compass. Of course it does. And this is, in fact, a Swiss Nazi Templar bank. All banks in the world, they're all Swiss Nazi Templar banks. And all nations traded with the whore of Babylon from the Alps. Wake up, Roskies, and don't listen 
to Putler, the Führer. Instead, listen to this fantastic Slovakian clip by Klemen Slakonia called Put In, Put Out. Put In, Put Out. So here it is, this channel, Klemen Slakonia. Here's the song, it has subtitles here, but he sings in English. And the title is Vladimir Putin, put in, put out the unofficial Russian anthem. It's fantastic. It's three minutes. And so here it is again in his videos. He also has a song on uh, Angela Merkel and one on Putin, one on the Pope. And uh, so Ruskies, go watch this clip, put in. Put out. Let's put them out. By the way, Ruskies, your great patriotic war wouldn't have been possible without America's help, who shipped you from October 1941 to May 1945 through the Arctic convoys from America to Russia. 427,284 trucks, 13,303 combat vehicles. So I'm reading here, read with me, Ruski. 35,170 motorcycles. 2,328 Ordnance Service Vehicles, 2,670,371 tons of petroleum products, gasoline and oil, or 57.8% of the high-octane aviation fuel. 4,478,116 tons of foodstuffs, canned meats, sugar, flour, salt, etc. 1,911 steam locomotives, 66 diesel locomotives, 9,920 flat cars, 1,000 dump cars, 120 tank cars, and 35 heavy machinery cars provided ordnance, goods, ammunition, at artillery shells, mines, assorted explosive, amounted to 53% of total domestic consumption. One item typical of many was a tire plant that was lifted bodily from the Ford Company's River Rouge plant and transferred, transferred to the USSR. The 1947 money value of the supplies and services amounted to about $11 billion. Hey, Ruski, you read this again. Because the Yanks, they saved millions of Russian lives and they sacrificed thousands of their own in order to ship all the goodies for your war into Russia, man who died a horrible death in the Arctic seas while being torpedoed by the German U-boats and Nazi airplanes. So there were also British deliveries. Do you want me to read it for you? Well, go read it yourself, you know. Yeah. Yeah, British deliveries. Yeah, read with me, Ruski. 3,000 plus Hurricane aircraft, 4,000 plus other aircraft, 27 naval vessels, 5,218 tanks, including 1,380 Valentines from Canada. 5,000 plus anti-tank guns, 4,020 ambulances and trunk, trucks. Here, the 5,000 anti-tank guns. Now we see it's going all the other way around, Roski. So 
wake up. The Nazis are back in your country. And his name is Putin with tens or if not, well, tens of thousands of Nazis, you know, behind him. Real Nazis. I don't mean, you know, like some nationalists, Slavic Russians. No, not those Nazis. They're not Nazis. They're nationalists. I mean, real Nazis out of the Nazi Templars from Switzerland. So, yeah, 1,721 motorcycles, 1.5 billion pound sterling worth of aircraft engines, 1,474 radar sets, 4,338 radio sets, 600 naval radar and sonar sets, hundreds of naval guns, 15 million pair of boots, in total, 4 million tons of war material, including food and medical supplies, were delivered. The munition totaled 308 million pounds sterling, not including naval munitions supplied. The food and raw materials totaled 120 million pounds sterling in 1946, in accordance with the Anglo-Soviet military supplies agreement of June 27, 1942, military aid sent from Britain to the Soviet Union during the war was entirely free of charge. Can you believe it? And now the Ruskies, they just spit back on you and they say Britain is bad and America is bad, even the people are bad. You know, well, you can read it yourself. Eh? It's disgusting. It really is disgusting. And I fear that the, um, the Ukrainians will do the same after the, you know, after the war. Just as the French, you know. And I speak French. I hear this French talking about America. And it's not very nice. So you just punch pause or go to Land Lease and Wikipedia and read it yourself. I'll, if I don't forget, I'll, I'll put it in the, uh, in the description for you. And these are all the other countries, you know, they got military aid from America against the Nazis. And, uh, Uh, most went to the uh, Soviet Union, I suppose. Yeah. So if not, you know, the Russians would have lost another, they would have been completely annihilated by the Nazis. The Nazis would have won the war without any doubt. So here's the chapter, US deliveries to the Soviet Union in tons. You know, look at this. In 1941, here, in 1944, more than six million tons, not kilos, six million tons. That's six billion tons, 35%. Be a little bit more grateful, Ruskies, and stop lying or stop believing the lies and copy the lies, right? Yeah, British deliveries. Well, you just punch pause and you read it yourself, Rusky. If you don't understand this all, I see a very black future for you. You know, because people are not going to accept this anymore. They're going to whip your ass. You hear me? And in order to help Russia and the Russians, thousands of US and British sailors lost their lives. Hey Ruski, stop twisting history and stop being so unthankful. So here it says the convoy RA-53 departs Kola Inlet, wherever that may be, March 1st, 1943. So Ruski, you make sure you read this all, eh? I hate lies, people. You know I hate lies. So you just punch pause here and read it. 
This is a merchant sailor. Maybe he died, I don't know. He died to help the Ruskies. So you read it yourself. And uh, the British Prime Minister Winston Churchill called it the worst journey in the world. Sailors on nearly 80 convoys from August 1941 to May 1945 risked their lives to help the Soviet people. Hermann E. Melton, an American participant in these events that took many lives in the frozen Arctic, published his recollections of that harrowing time in the book Liberty's War, an engineer's memoir of the Merchant Marine, 1942-1945. Hey, Ruski, you make sure you read this. Yeah, you can read it all. Here it says, some 3,000 Allied seamen lost their lives in the North Russian convoys. Oh, now I know what Russia is going, the Russians are going to say, oh, that's only 3,000, that's not very much, we lost millions. Yeah, but listen up, Rusky, these 3,000 men, they saved millions of Russians. Maybe they saved another 50 million Russians from the Nazis. Do you hear me? You can see the um, the winter convoy route here to Murmansk, going here from England and from here from the U.S. And um, of course, we had the Enigma when the uh, the Enigma machine was deciphered. Then. Because of that, the uh, the Russian offensive could start really, you know, in 1945 or 45. No, I think it was 45 or 44. Yeah, the end of 44. Because the the Allied, the American and British goodies, they could get to the um, to Russia because um, the Enigma machine was deciphered, and also that helped uh save the russians the end of the enigma machine and again my grandfather he was an officer in the uh, the royal naval it intelligence and he was working on this sort of things so unfortunately he died also me rusky i lost my grandfather you know he was also helping you rusky Convoys to the North Russia also carried more than 345,000 tons of ammunition and TNT. So this is a personal witness account. On my last visit ashore in Murmansk on February 27th, I witnessed a German dive bomber Stuka's deadly attack on merchant ship El Oriente. Well, you read it yourself. Here you see the, the painting somebody made. You know, these people were artists, you know, they were not really military, you know, they were merchant uh, sailors. Here you see the American ships, Rusky, being bombed by, uh, here by the Stuka. You know, people, Americans and British losing their lives to help saving your butt, Rusky. So don't be so unthankful. Also, my grandfather, who, he was a um, he was an officer in the Royal Navy, and he died in 1942. And uh, he was the in the Royal Navy Naval Intelligence, doing this kind of work, helping you, Rusky, and preparing all this, you know, or helping to prepare Royal Naval Intelligence, Rusky, and my family too. My grandfather died, you know, for helping you, Ruski. So I don't want to see any more Russian Nazis in my YouTube channels, you know, with all these hate mails. Do you get me? And no Russian disinformation agent by Mr. Putin either. Do you hear me, Ruski? 
Yeah, James Harkers of the British merchant ship Ocean Faith also mentioned the dive bombing of the El Oriente in his diary, referring to the ship as the Laurentis. Later, as the uh, as the Ocean Faith moved to another, well, you can read it yourself here. Yeah. And uh, this is. Uh, the ruins of Murmansk after the Second World War. And uh, here you can read some more about the same witness account of those days and how unfriendly the Ruskies already were towards the Americans and the British in those days. And uh, I guess. Uh, Somehow, it must be in the blood somehow, never changed. Eh? There must be a reason somehow that the Ukrainians, they, um, they call the Ruskies the Orcs, because of all the crimes they're doing right now. And uh, Yeah, well, I'm not going to say more. So, Rusky, go listen once more to the great patriotic song put in, put out. It'll do you good. Pharaoh's agenda is to Americanize the Slavs of Eastern Europe into a happy New World Order dictatorship with lots of food, lots of sexual aberrations, lots of material goodies, lots of similar symbols, lots of welfare, lots of mixed peoples, and toward which Putin is working on, together with his Freemason friends, Zelensky, Biden, Trump, Macron, and the rest of Putin's global leader friends, because this is Pharaoh's agenda that must be accomplished by all means and through all costs of human lives, human misery and endless sufferings because of Pharaoh's worldwide nobility. Just look at the girl being dealt out. The enemy just love their symbols for hiding their true identities. Do you want to continue getting deltaed or do you want to stand up? <laughs>